we're going to go through and break down a couple different bots and types of bots. But if anybody commented on the post or wants to just jump on and get their stuff, well, torn apart, <laughs> it's going to be a little painful, I promise you, but it's going to be super helpful. It was one of the best things that, that I think uh, happened for my copy was to get an outside perspective on it. Um, so, so if you're up for it, we'd love to have you in the hot seat and, uh, we'll put you on. So just comment if you do want to do it and then we'll get you on in probably, I don't know, what, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as it takes us to figure out zoom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in the meantime, since we are live, it is three. Should we go into the bot that we picked out to discuss right away? Yeah, man, let's do it. So this is one that Franco recommended that we go through, and I'm glad he did. I just I only took like a really quick look, but it and it was good. I just think we could do some more with it. Um, and I don't know if you've seen this at all. Have you seen the Destination Gold Coast bot? No. So I purposely didn't when when we decided on it. So this right. is going to be completely fresh for me. Okay. Cool. Just sorry, I just uh, that was the only one I didn't have loaded up here, and I just wanted to delete it first so we can go through it fresh. Cool. Okay, can you see my screen, Nick? Yep. We're good. All right, cool. So actually, maybe we should just take a quick look at the page so people know what this is all about. So um, the Gold Coast is like this beautiful, beautiful location in Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? I haven't. Uh, my brother actually just moved there, so no I have a reason to go for sure. But you've oh, been, man. right? I've been a couple times and I actually spent around six months living in the Gold Coast oh, um, and it was absolutely amazing. I had the best time. Um, so this is this is surfer's paradise. So this is like right down in the Gold Coast and around this beautiful long beach. Um, and uh, there's just a ton of things to do there. And so I was I was pretty interested when Franco posted this to check out how are they showing these the attractions? Are they driving people to something? Are they monetizing it? You know, because they have a million people on their page. Right. So um, this is something that, you know, look, they got some engagement, some comments, some shares. Um, yeah, actually pretty good engagement. I mean, a million people. Solid. Yeah, and like I'm not seeing like if we look through this, I'm not seeing you know growth tools really in play. I mean, they only you only really showed a couple posts here. Let me move this over there. Let's see more posts. Um, I'm gonna guess that they don't have it set up. Like they're not. It just seems like right off the bat that it's not. They're not like using the actual growth tools to like really drive traffic from their actual page, maybe on a website of sorts. Um, but let's get into it. Let's see. What well, this you know, what? go do, do me a favor. Go back one more time. Let's yeah. take a look at the info and ads. Let's see okay. if they're running any messenger ads real quick. Yeah, good call. Um, okay. so well, that's just location yeah, yeah. based. Let's see what happens in Australia where they are. Makes sense. Um, there you go. Sponsored post, but not to messenger. Let's it looks see like... what uh, get offer does. Yeah, because it doesn't look like Messenger. Yeah, no. It's just a landing page. Just a landing and page. Offer, just a landing page. Oh, John, I have a bot for you guys to tear down if you're doing them via comments. Uh, dude, John, let's let's get you on. Uh, we can, we're going to tear down the Destination Gold Coast one first. And then if you want, you can come on. We'll have you on while we do it, and we can talk about your bot. So I'm going to shoot you a link in just a moment here. I've definitely, no, that's like a ballet studio. I th it looks like a nightclub. I was like, will you get John on? Yep. Uh, actually, interestingly, I don't know. So we're seeing no giveaways. We're seeing no ref links where I'm not like discerning send message. So I don't see J any JSON code stuff. Um, I, I, would we be, you know more about ads. Would we like know if people were, they would, you, we'd be able to tell if they're doing the comment growth tool, right? Yeah, actually, no, not from these necessarily. In theory, they're supposed to put something on the page, you know, that says, or on the post that says, and we'll message you or something right. like that. Yeah. But no, not necessarily. Okay. 
Well, all right. So we so that's kind of some front surface touch points, but let's see what the bot has in store for us here. I'm just going to move my conversations out so they're not distracting. So real quick, John, I had to message you on Facebook privately. So use that link and then you can come on. We'll invite you on in maybe like 10 minutes when we finish this. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Lots of so, shit right away. I mean, I don't know if Zoom affected this, but um, it does seem like a lot right away. Um, but let's read it out here. G'day, Stephen. Welcome to Destination Gold Coast. From accommodation to what to see and do, I can help you find what you're looking for. Remember, I can't understand long, complex sentences. So if any time you want to chat with a real person, just type chat with human. Okay. Yeah. What are your opening thoughts here, Nick? <laughs> Dude, it's not a good thing when your first thought is, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right i mean it's just so much thrown at you at once so they have they have a gif which is cool it's great but it, i love it, this gif i do too actually i yeah, think it yeah. like for them it makes a lot of sense their destination yeah. like you want to showcase that yeah because i've been on top of that tall building there oh that's uh, cool and it's beautiful beautiful view um yeah like kind of brings me back there i guess as well but yeah like whoa was like okay all these messages came out right away you know i mean how, how do you like your welcome messages like what do you usually do i try to just have like i i try to all as much as often as i hum humanly can image concise text button like i i really yeah. try really hard like sometimes there's so much content and like your client really wants to get all the message out and you, you have to kind of be a little bit lax on the rules just cause that's really what they want. Um, you know, I, even if you try to explain like shorter and shorter, you know, obviously there's different levels or layers to that. But, um, for this, I would probably, I would definitely just have one message here and then, uh, a, and then one call to action to get them started. Yeah. And then the other thing, I mean, I like the, the idea and I've used this too, like, tell me more about yourself because right. you can pick up some good marketing data points and you can personalize the experience more. But mm -hmm. I think when they're saying, all right, choose interests, like that's so generic. Yeah. Like, it right. could be, there, like it doesn't seem like there's a specific endpoint in mind or a specific result that they're looking for. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, exactly. Like, I mean, I think if you really want to keep it generic and not say anything about the interests here, you can like, do something more generic for a button like onward would be probably better than like choose interests. Yeah, exactly. And I don't, I think it's too early to ask them to share as well. Yeah. Cause you uh, don't give a shit yet. Like maybe put that in here in the menu. Um, so that maybe like passively people could see it, but, um, I wouldn't just choose it as one of the main buttons. No. Um, okay. So let's see what interests they want to showcase. Tap, I'm interested to choose your interests and then press continue once you've finished selecting the ones you're interested in. Okay, cool. So we got food, beaches, nature, attractions, arts, culture, music. So, so I'm going to guess, we'll, we'll test it, but I'm going to guess I'm interested in continue go to the exact same spot. Okay, let's try. Let's try nightlife. Uh, interested. I like, I do like the use of menus in this way where it, it's, it kind of acts as a, I do this as almost every one of my bots because I, I think it's good to allow people to navigate as if it's an app and always kind of like, you know, it always kind of comes back to the same place um, because I've just noticed when watching others go through the bots that people want to kind of see what el everything that there is there to see, you know? Um, yeah, man, I'm with you. The images are good. I like them. I like that they actually used the overlay of the text on the galleries as well. Yeah, me too. I think there's probably too many, though. Like bars and breweries and nightlife. Can I guess that's... Them? You can combine them. Adrenaline, Adrenaline, like what's that mean? Uh, Fun shit. Like, like you just go fun shit. jet skis, jet surfing, skis. I don't know. Shopping. So uh, they actually did do different things. I'm interested was like night really? owls rejoice. We have plenty of hot spots for you to enjoy as the sun goes down. So they're kind of like, just kind of telling you about it. Like, I feel like this is a huge opportunity to sell, you know, yeah. to like actually direct them to a bar or a particular nightlife that, that, the, that this, to, I guess it's a tourism page could but, build revenue off of. Yeah. I, I'm kind of lost, honestly, like 
in terms of the two different options. Awesome. Keep your eye on your inbox. Yeah, I'm just seeing where these things go just because to see where it flows, you know? Yeah. Um, here, this is this happens when they use for GIFs of the, a source file instead of what I think is like an MP, a different, this is the wrong type of file to put in the GIF so that, because you don't need it to have the bar and whatnot. Um, well, yeah, I guess that's true, actually. That's interesting. Because like when you go to like um, Tenor, this is where I like to get GIFs. That, that's very, that's, that is interesting because I've actually never had that happen. Maybe I always use, I think it's an MP4. Yeah, it's MP something. Uh, I, I was just going to check real quick. Um, and guys, let us know in the chat if this is useful so far. Where, you know, the whole idea here is Nick and I are just going to riff on this and see what happens. Oh, so yeah. I know it is an MP4. Cool. I'm dragging this off onto my desktop. Um, oh. And so what they've done is used a source file of some kind that that I think I used to see those on Giphy. You could download them as source files, and then they'd always look like that instead of look like um, something else, instead of looking more like the one above up top where it was just the pure feedback loop. You know what I mean? I'm going to let you keep going on this. I'm just going to message. Esther has a bot for us too. Okay. So Esther, I just shot you a link. So I think let's let's go through this one and let's get to some of some of the people that are on. I think that'd be yeah for sure. So yeah, I mean a few a few things on this one. Like like I like the main menu. I I I think they should have used different language for the beginning. And I, I think you asked to share once somebody gets a particular outcome. For Dude, me, and the other thing there, like I noticed for welcome messages, usually that means that well not usually it means they're either coming in through Messenger like directly through the, the find or they're coming in through your Facebook page. Right. Two spots. Right. Yeah. So it's usually because somebody has a question or wants to talk to somebody. So I don't think they're really accounting for that unless of course there's some NLP or like you're integrating dialogue flow or one of those things that can, can account for it. I'm going to guess that's not present on this bot. Uh -huh. So I don't think they're really serving like that need or the want of the customer with the welcome message. Right. Yeah. Cause context is really important, right? Like, I mean, you may, you, they might choose to use the welcome message in like a slide in or something, but in a lot of the cases it's for people who, who land there, you know? So I get the mindset where, I mean, personally, I get the mindset where it's like, okay, we don't really know why they're landing there. FAQs like without dial, even with dialogue flow, it kind of sucks. Like I've yet to see one that's really been, I've been like, Oh, okay, this solves a problem and it's actually helped me with customer service. Um, so I think like giving options, I think if they, personally, if I think if, I think if they redid the copy so it kind of flowed better and it was more clear what they're about to get and they, it would drive the clicks more. Um, so that's funny. Like I, I've had the experience and maybe this is because we work with most e-commerce. Um, people disregard whatever you put in the welcome message, I would say a good percentage, like a solid like 30 to 40% of people will disregard the welcome message entirely, not click, and then type something in. Um, yeah, I think that probably has to do with markets because like with coaches, um, like the click rate on the welcome message is like super high, um, hmm. like 50, 60%. Um, so I think that there are times where they have a question, but I think a lot of times like, hey, if you lay it out specifically, like, hey, let me show you how to get X, Y, Z results, um, then it can help. It, then they, they, they buy in more and they can get their answers and their questions answered with the chat experience. Um, but yeah, it does look like it doesn't look like any NLP that definitely screams welcome message or default reply. Um, because I think like if we click on a couple other of these, I feel like they, they've kind of done the same thing. Like, like what is the goal of this bot? Is the goal of the bot to like tell us things? Oh, oh it's getting a D this is a new menu. Okay. Let's it's like, see how that. do you get there? Cause like one of the options we chose led us to something very generic. And then this one's getting into. Cuddle a koala, swim with the dolphins, and flock with a rainbow of lorikeets. Lorikeets? I don't know that animal. I don't know either. Um, these are the opportunities in the Gold Coast. So they got. I've been to SeaWorld actually. Um, 
Oh man, the koala sanctuary is awesome. Okay, so they are actually draw driving you to this these these points. Let's see what comes up here. I'd love that. I I would absolutely love. Uh, and then I hope they're taking you to that page. Okay. Okay, so you can book online. Okay. Okay, so there is a goal in this in this case, but we we didn't where we didn't see that was earlier with nightlife, right? Like so because if we scroll back up, it, it all said was that they have plenty of hotspots. Um, when we clicked uh, continue or I'm done, it just had other options, not more about nightlife. So they didn't really have an affiliate there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but if this is like the official tourism of the Gold Coast, right? Like then, I mean, maybe the, maybe there's some limitations on what they can recommend and how, but I, I just feel like it's very much, la like, I think it comes to back to the business purpose of it or mm -hmm. the, or the end goal of the user. What do you want the user to be able to do? find fun things and things that interest them particularly to do while they're visiting the gold coast probably yeah i just I, for me it's like it's like okay great clearly they have some sort of goal cuz they are showing like the koala sanctuary for instance right like they are they well, that's one of the end destinations so if that's the mindset why even for me why include options where you don't help them get yeah somewhere? like like i don't want to see a beaches button there if all they're going to do is say, hey, we have 57 kilometers of coastline ready for you to dive in, surf's up. Like, where are some of the good surf spots? Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, there's Burley Heads. There's, there's like, like all of these towns. And there are actually different surf spots based on which town. Like, and they're actually better places to surf. So, like, I know that and any Australian who lives there would know this stuff, like, easily, right? Like, they're yeah. obsessed like with it. 100%. I mean, same thing with nightlife or anything. Tell like I would want to know a little bit more about about the clubs or maybe I don't want a club. Maybe I want a bar setting. They have that tab. I, I just feel like they could do a better job because the goal for me a lot of times with these bots is literally to help the user find the right thing for them. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I don't think they're doing that with the beaches, with bars. They're just like, hey, we have cool stuff. Yeah, Thanks. like honestly, they could do some sort of product selector quiz. Yeah, you know, like like where you're at, that you basically ask questions, like what are your interests, what do you do at home, what is your ideal outcome for your your destination, you know, just different questions to like get insight and information about the subscriber, which helps them market through broadcasts, and um, people will actually get their problem solved, right? Because like especially having been there, you know. Like there are so many highlight bars. Like they could at least li link you to a Google do a go to Google where there are a list of bars or something, you know, like or an article of some kind, right? Something. Like I would prefer seeing them do a little more in Messenger too. Like not just sending people off to their website even to book yet, because they keep asking you to share things, but there's no information to share. It's just an image. It's just like I would be much more likely to be to if I was with my girlfriend and we're traveling there be like hey check this out if it was like oh this bar has 49 seats overview like view of the water whatever it is mm -hmm. versus just like a page that takes her to the gold coast website i think yeah that would be bad that would be great right you know and, and that this is like not even half this is nothing like like this is like don't have that option that you know yeah, what you're describing is like I think the ideal flow where you're you come in, you're asked some questions about you know, hey, are you coming here on vacation? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, we got a bunch of cool stuff. What kind of things do you like? Options, and they can like, do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like this? Okay, let's like send you what you're interested in. Um, so they kind of like flows in a conversation, right? Like this you know, is be super funky. Awesome is to send an itinerary through this. Yeah, you could have like different buckets of people in an itinerary for each type of person. Right. I mean, oh, exactly. Cool. Like, do you like want that. an adventure? Like, there are lots of things that they could do here that would make this much more useful, I think. To, mm -hmm. to But I get why they're not. It's, it's harder to build that way. But yeah, it's yeah. Why would you share the bot? OK. 
ah, I like the writing, but I think actually there should be an image of the Gold Coast. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Like that that's the strength. Like show a thunderstorm over the ocean when you're on the beach in 30 degrees. You know, that's the all the hard the hard Americans won't get that. A hundred degrees. <laughs> <laughs> um and then we've got so Victoria Rose must be part Australian or smarter than us, because she says lorikeets are birds. Oh, all right. Thanks, Victoria. And Yvonne was saying that uh there's zero personality and I kind of got to agree. They don't take a strong uh, stance either way. Right. I think they could use more emojis also split up the text a little more to make it easier to read. I love point form. Like when I have, when so you're explaining a point and you can use like chat boxes to like explain it, that always looks so great visually, like with a little gif, there could be a graph or, you know, something that helps you tell your point. And then it's like, you know, boom, 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 call to action button. It always just feels really like it flows well to me. Um, I don't know. Plus, like, I, I do agree, though, with her that that's kind of it's very standard. And somebody else, Andrew, said it's built like a website. And it mm, kind of is. It's very yeah. much presenting options versus guiding somebody somewhere. And you know what bothers me about that is that if you've ever been to Australia, the Australians have a ton of personality, you know, like they're hilarious. They're no bullshit type yeah. of people. Like they're very straight up and funny and they're or outgoing. Um, and you know, this, this is, this doesn't feel like you don't get that energy, right? Like that welcoming, accepting energy that I felt there. Um, you know, yeah. and there could also be things to make people aware too, right? Like there's dangers like Bondi beach. I'm pretty sure the lifeguards save people every single day. So there, there are things to, that you could be at, used as education points as well, you know, in a sense. Yeah. I'd be curious to know, like, who was the, or who were the, uh, um, God, I'm blanking on the word, but basically key parties that they were targeting with mm -hmm. with these flows and the bots. Is it somebody who's already planning a trip? Is it somebody who is just looking into it? Like what's who are the who are these who's the intended audience with this? Yeah. It's and then is it helping? Start. Yeah. Well it's yeah, I don't find this helpful personally. Yeah. All right. Anything okay. else we want to go through or are we? Um... No, I think we've kind of, because it's kind of a, you can see the pattern now. Only really one of them led to a result, um, the sanctuaries. Um, uh, Victoria Rose says, yes, we are. She, so she's an Aussie. Well, maybe you should hit them up and redo their bot. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, do the bot. Do you go help them out? <laughs> Awesome. All right. So let's go. So we have someone standing by for the we next. Do. Uh, John, I'm going to, I'm going to promote you here to panelist. Okay. John, you on with us? Let's see. Looks like he doesn't have a uh, audio or camera connected. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see then. So who did I send this oh, to? John's coming on audio, I think. Oh, he is perfect. All right, guys, bear with us a moment and we'll get John on here. So uh, I'd be curious, though, in the chat, like, what did you guys think of this bot? Was there something we missed as well? Would it have been better? Some Some other suggestion that you guys have? Yeah, yeah. Definitely let us know if um oh there's been tons of comments. But like oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Here's John. So John, I'm gonna oh, well <laughs> John, I just unmuted you. Are you on with oh, us? Cool. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Awesome. Dude, well welcome. Um let's uh if you wouldn't mind in the chat, would you <laughs> give us a link to the bot that we're uh we're gonna go through? Yeah, we'll do. Um, I would be using my video, but for some reason, my MacBook is saying that I don't have a camera. So that's a little bit confusing. No, no problem. <laughs> Gary's Gary's chirping me right now. Does owning a bot agency mean I no longer need to wear shirts with collars? Yes, <laughs> that is true. It is so hot here for some reason in my, my apartment. So I just thought you were getting ready for the bot teardown, just kind of showing uh, up. Yeah, I'll like, tear uh... something down. No, I'm I'm All like right. a tall skinny guy. Okay, no one's showing off over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh so John just put the link in the Facebook chat. Do you want me to do you see it, Steven? 
Um, yep. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to put it to all the panelists here in Zoom. Oh, do you want me to screen share it? Uh, yeah, if you w or I can. Oh, yeah, no, I can do it. I just don't see Perfect. the link. Uh, I just sent it to you. In Messenger? Yes. OK. Although it came out very strangely. Let me try this again. Yeah. I, or in the no, no on, on Zoom. Oh, you got it from all the panelists yeah, in the chat. Now I got it. OK. So we're just loading this up. So can you tell us a bit about this bot? Like, is this one of your clients? What's the uh, background of this? John? Yeah, sure. So um, I've always been into digital marketing, at least for the past like year and a half. And I've kind of been trying to find more or less a niche that kind of suited me. And I guess conversational marketing and bots is like really what sprang my attention. And my buddies always want to start a clothing brand. So we just kind of decided to work together. I'll handle all the marketing and use my use this as an opportunity to develop my skills. And he's obviously a talented designer. So oh, it's just kind of like hand in hand. Awesome. Nice. That's like, that's how a lot of great businesses start. I, I'm actually just starting a business soon too, where my friend came up with this idea, but didn't really know how to do, put it together, or get eyes on it, you know? So it's a good fit when you get that. Yeah, it's a, it's a healthy balance. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Well, let's take a peek. So, so this is your, this is your joint company, your friend started it. And so you're okay. So what, should we get more information, Nick, or just dive in? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so they do have, let's dive in. Let's start. Let's see the welcome message first and then we can. Awesome. Hey, John, way to be brave, man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, I, actually, I actually think the welcome message is the only thing that's not, like, I'm still working on that. I wanted you guys to go through the giveaway sequence and tell me what you guys thought. So just type the word giveaway. Okay. And it, should, it should prompt. All right, cool. Let's see. Have you entered our giveaway yet? I haven't. So right away, man, I actually don't think you need to ask that. Uh, is this built inside ManyChat? Yes. OK. So this is where you can use conditions to check if somebody has entered. Yes. So you'll know if they are new and they haven't entered yet or if they have. So like every sorry, John, are you are you still with us? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, yeah, like just what Nick was saying, because um, you, whenever someone has entered the giveaway, you would tag them, right? Oh, and yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So once they're tagged, you could, like Nick said, use the logic so that you'd never have to really ask this. And so you would expect me to having not entered it at this point. Okay. All right, cool. Let uh, me take that note. <laughs> cool, cool. And then... Yeah, I mean, I think that there are opportunities here of right away. Like it's like to kind of get somebody more to build some excitement, you know, to to like build up. Like this is where you can kind of. I mean, it depends, right? Like the context, you know, we're not going through a welcome message. This is just a flow. So you could have had a slide in, or it could have been like a ref link on a post. So I guess the question, John, is how are people getting into this? Like, how are you promoting this? From where? Yeah. Well, yeah. So mostly we're doing we're running ads to uh, different different target different cold target audiences. So that's the number one way that we have people going into it. We've had like maybe one or two people enter just through like messaging us on Facebook. But yeah, for the most part, it's been through ads, through a JSON ad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so they're right into this flow. Yes. Okay. Cool. So so far we'd scrap this. We, I, for me personally, I would start here. Like I would start, I would skip this, all this stuff up here and I would start like introducing the brand and the, and the, and the Izzy who is the boss. Um, and give a little, I mean, for me, I would add a mission statement or a little context as, in, as to the, what the giveaway is all about underneath this and be, being as brief as possible and then kind of get into the sequence. Um, what's coming up for you, Nick? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would when when you're running ads to this, you really want a very tight fit between the ad and the next message, mm -hmm. right? So almost to the point where you're using very similar copy and very similar images in both, so that there's no there's an easy transition between the two, 
right? They clicked on your ad for a reason. You just want to fulfill the promise of your ad as quickly as possible, usually. So even, even introing the chatbot, I would take that part and make that a sentence, get them in the giveaway, explain more as we go along. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Ad sent. Yeah, just, you're absolutely right. That makes sense. But, I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of over, overdoing it, trying to build this personality when in reality people are just, people want to enter the giveaway. That's why they're clicking on this. Yeah. But, but I mean, you know, there's a balance there. And I think Steven said like would take a little bit of the, not the opposite approach, but would lean toward more personality up front, which I think was what you were saying. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like I, I think it's all about personality. Like these things, like if you, the more fun, every, every single box should be fun in some way. Like, if for this context, like, you know what I mean? No, 100%. So that I agree with. I just don't know that I would intro the bot as much up front. Like, I like to fulfill the promise of the ad. And if you can, you should do that in a fun way. So, do you know what, John, do you mind if, if it's possible, do you want to share your screen and we can take a look at the back end of this too? Um, Give me a sec. I would have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> you You can just pull up. Pull up your ManyChat account if you're cool with showing it. If not, it's okay. But just do you want to show it, and we can help uh, you. Maybe not, just because this is all kind of like brand new. I, I if you guys don't mind, but uh, okay, that's okay. We can just go, we can just click through a little bit here. Um, I get yeah. I guess I'm I'm feeling a lack of clarity around it. Let, let's. Nice to meet you. Below, you'll find the Invasion Day design poll and giveaway. Be sure to vote for your favorite because you'll be entered for a chance to win it. Okay. So, I mean, this th this felt like a, these, since these images are so big that they came out a little fast. Um, maybe, I don't know, what do you think, Nick? Would you maybe put this here and so people can read it and then click to get the images so that the, they don't you don't lose this coming out so quickly and they have the context and then they click the button to see so that they already know they're about to vote? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, you know, you have like three very, very short messages right in a row above the the uh, gallery. It's it's like it's just a preference thing, but I would probably combine that into one message. That really is a preference thing, because like <laughs> I'm actually I'm with you on that. Like I I I don't like it when it's like like just zaps out of you. Um, because like if I am doing something like that for like a comedic effect, I'll use the delays, like even maybe a couple seconds too long in some cases. Um, but generally, I try to make them like more like one, not like so quick. But like I know some of the others uh, in the in the community, they they really prefer that like really quick. Yeah, because I like the thing is I hate waiting constantly, and I feel mm -hmm. like when you split it up into so many pieces. You just end up waiting, waiting again. So for me, there's always a tension between getting the information out and making it feel conversational. So mm -hmm. I lean one way, Stephen leans slightly the other. I think if you were to do that and put it in one block, though, you would only need one delay. So people would read everything and then they could easily go on to the next part. So you wouldn't need a button there necessarily. But I see what you're saying. Like, But do you, I mean, like, like, so you oh so you're saying you don't see the 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 need to like put a button um like to replace this stuff with this? No, you could replace okay. you could replace it because uh... that was just my point. Like in the in because what you were saying earlier, and I like that you know the goal was to kind of like have a bit of a back and forth on this. So I'm in, that's good. But uh, like so if we put this up here, you know maybe shortened this or not even do it, and then we describe right away then what is happening. You're going to see the poll, you're going to see the items and then you basically vote your favorite and you'll be entered in a chance to win it right away. So then they've clicked the ad for the giveaway. They see you're going to see the poll, they get the instructions, you know, maybe adding some humor to it in some way um, yeah. or a GIF or image or something. And then they click and they get the options and vote. But yeah, for me, yeah. that flows a little better. I like that better actually. Just saying like, Hey, good to meet you, Steven. I'm the whatever bot. 
you know, we do like X, Y, Z, like you're saying, just like a literal one sentence, like we make kick-ass t-shirts. Are you ready to vote? Like you're, you're entered for a chance to win, vote for your best design. The copy's got to be better, but yeah, just like two short sentences, basically. Mm-hmm. And then ready to vote, maybe giving them one other option if you really want, or if you want to streamline it and make sure they enter this giveaway. But remember, once they've interacted, they're part of this bot and they're they're a marketing lead. So you don't necessarily have to get them in the giveaway. Um, what do you think about what do yeah. you think about? Because let's see here. We got so how it goes is OK. So I picked this far right option and it's like a very zen decision. This design is popular among our wildest, wildest eh, wisest, wisest elders. Yeah. Wisdom is key. OK, so just so you know, the winner of our giveaway will be picked on March 16th. So I'll be sure to keep you updated. Well, that does it for this transformation. I'll be in touch soon. Um, I'm just wondering, like, to your point, and transmission, it's cute. I think uh, to your point, though, like, sometimes I'll do that when you describe it. I'll ask that, like, marketing question at the end. So, like, you'll give the poll or the giveaway. You get them involved. You give them the next steps, which is good. Um, And then... Uh, you can in this this these options, you know, you could for this it's t-shirts, you know, you could have a shop option, you know, so it doesn't have to be like in your face. It could be kind of a passive option. Um, yeah, I, I like doing that generally, like measuring engagement. So it generally gives you a good feel for purchase intent or at least like how hot the prospect is and willing to actually take a next step. Yes. So the more they interact with your, your bot and your content, the more likely they are to like your brand and interact with you and purchase, right? So if I've gone through your bot and done multiple things, like maybe this last one, I go, I click quick question and I keep messing around for a little bit, then maybe it's appropriate to have a more in your face message. So I think it's based on, yeah, the behavior of the person. If you can match that up with the, the the behavior with what you're sending next, I think that makes for a winning style. So how would we, in this context, I mean, um, like I'm just thinking, okay, I really liked what you said there about like figuring out what kind of lead they are. Um, Cause like, I think chatbots are great for like determining cold, hot, warm, hot leads and um, basically having an option for each type of lead, right? Like, so through the giveaway or that segmentation, you're able to like actually hit a person exactly where they want to be hit up, right? Um, yep. I even I sometimes use this analogy on sales calls where it's like, you know, and I maybe I've said this before, but it, you, you know, it's like when you're shopping and you go into the Nike store and you're looking for new basketball kicks and that, that sales representative comes up to you and they're like, um, oh, can I help you? Can I help you? And you're like, oh, no, I'm just looking, you know, and then you go look and they're like, oh, you, do you need anything? And you're like, no, like, give me a break. You know, that's like maybe the more cold lead, right? But with, for the different person, if I knew what I was looking for, what I had an idea of what I wanted, that same sales rep and like, hey, can I help you? And you're like, yes, you can. I want these kicks. And you're, they're like, all right, let me get you. What's your size? You know, I'm not really sure. Well, here we go. Let's measure. You know, it's like instant. It's right on it. That's that hot response, right? So how could we add to this bot where there is maybe an option for each? Well, let me just, so John, who, who's your target audience with this? What do you know about your, your customer base? Um, for the most part, my customer base is a hundred percent the exact same person as my roommate. So ages like 20 to 35 loves dubstep is super into like monster movies and aliens. Um, I, I wouldn't say that they're conspiracy theorists, but, they're, they definitely, uh, it's definitely a look. I think the biggest, the biggest thing is, I don't know if you guys grew, grew up watching Invader Zim. That's, uh, one of the, probably the biggest, uh, it's, they love like that type of stuff from Nickelodeon back in the day. So we, uh. we've made a couple customer avatars. So that's kind of like what the designs, the designs are a little bit, uh, so are these like based uh, on movies and stuff. Um, well, have you ever seen the movie Mars Attacks? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the inspiration behind the actual design itself, because my buddy loved that movie. Um, uh, and then he just kind of took a couple, a little bit of inspiration from a couple other things. So we, we, uh, we, customer avatars also, we're still figuring it out. I don't want to like segment too deeply and then be incredibly, like overly wrong, you know, that'd be bad. <laughs> okay. 
so I yeah i mean i think you have a good general idea of of that i would take a look i mean what what's a question you could ask around that that would give you another insight so you could segment more deeply like i, I don't know this space at all so i'm going to struggle but it, is it something very different if somebody likes mars attacks versus another one of the movies you mentioned hmm i think that's something that's still kind of a work in progress to be honest because it's it would be easier if it was me the target like the easiest target audience to ever market to is someone who's similar to yourself so this is like all all like my buddy's interests and after going back and forth and have even discussing it with a couple of people who were interested in the brand from the first place it's all still like very uh still be being put together very very uh i don't want to say slowly but it's still a work in progress and i wanted to include something with the shop and stuff but that's not that's unfortunately not going to be ready until the 17th. So that's, I, I would have that there. This is all like pre-launch stuff to trying to build a little bit of a list. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Interesting. All right. Okay. So yeah. All right. So it's pre-launch stuff. So you will have kind of shop there and you'll be able to kind of integrate Absolutely, that a little yes. bit more deeply. And, you know, obviously with an e-commerce thing, you got to jump on the whole card abandonment messenger. Um, yeah. Shop message for the win. Uh, I, yeah, I would, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably have other, we'll do this probably more another time, but hit up Nick Julia here. Cause uh, I love what he's got cooking up there, um, for card abandonment more than shop message. And I've, uh, I've checked out both. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, like if we were to like end this off with a couple kind of points for when you launch, um, Nick, do you have a kind of an insight there? I know, I know for me, I would, I would definitely like you know, continue this with a call to action to shop, but, you know, try to find, try to find a, a purpose to like ask a couple more questions. And cause like, I didn't get, I didn't get this like alien vibe, even going through this now. Like, I feel like you could incorporate it a little more. Like I saw this as a bot, you know, I, I yeah, I just feel like with the copy, you can yeah. make it stand out a little bit more. Cause that's like I a did, fun, broad, like. You did so much fun. Like some yeah. of those, like, I mean, you're right. Maybe you don't want to call them conspiracists, but like conspiracists, <laughs> night, like, or like, you know, how people used to feel about like the X Files or people like junkies yeah. of that thing. Like, yeah. I think if you gave it a little more of that vibe, it would be have that appeal, right? This is the kind of thing where you have to sit down and like think, like, and get creative and get really in that fun mood and get go find a bunch of really funny like alien gifts and stuff, um, and like write some stuff out. So I, I'd be really interested for you to, uh, like go down and sit and do a little bit of that and then send it again. Um, you know, cause I feel like, you know, if you're a fan of that stuff yourself, you'd, you'd, you'd be aware of like, you know, what would really hit a chord as a in humor or, you know, even like a fun quit movie quiz and stuff. Like actually Nick and I were just talking about the Seinfeld bot. It's not really enough to do a big teardown on, but they basically, it's like the Seinfeld quiz and it's really fun. And then after you do the quiz, they try to sell you Seinfeld, Seinfeld swag. Um, and it, it links and flows really nicely because of that. Um, so I feel like you could apply that in a similar way with a giveaway. You know what, though? Like, what if, what if you came up? So you know what shows they like. You just listed, like, four. What if you came up with, like, four different quizzes, see which one people took, right? And then based on that... I'm sure one t-shirt corresponds to one, you know, it more or less. Yeah. Like, or you can make yeah. a recommendation based on that after they've been through the quiz. Well, one of my ideas was to um do a, like a comment to messenger thing, asking if people can, can see or, like what influenced the brand, like, whether it be like aliens versus predator, et cetera, and mm -hmm. see if we get and do some com comment to messenger thing there. Try and make that a little bit fun. Just cause I don't know, man, I feel like messengers, crazy crazy fun to use so yeah I mean, yeah i mean okay so i guess if we can boil it down so my things would be one like add to message fit okay. like make that a little more direct uh you can add in some more about the brand to steven's point first but i would very much like move them in the direction of getting into the, to the uh giveaway because that's what you're promising I would rework the personality a bit. Don't, you know, maybe not too over the top. And then um, I'd also think about like what, what we could send them on an ongoing basis. I think that this sort of thing, even though it's an e-commerce brand, could very easily lend itself to fun stories on an ongoing basis. 
Oh yeah, man. That's what I That's mean. That's a good idea. With all those quizzes and like funny stories, like oh yeah, like endless contents. Yeah, and the so I would definitely try to say like, hey, do you want to get these whatever you decide to, to content to get, you know, on a weekly or however often basis. And then um, the last thing that I would actually suggest too is start involving some of your messenger list in your creation process maybe. So I think what could be cool is if your buddy was designing these, you could start putting out like prelim designs and then have it kind of like co-created together or something like it, really get people to, to work with your brand. And then that almost guarantees that they're going to purchase the shirt because they've, they've helped you make it in a lot of ways. Oh yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a that's definitely something I want to do too. I figured the best way to create a product that people actually want to buy is to ask them what they want. So, um, I funny funny mini stories. We've actually had a couple people like DMing the brand already, talking about like, hey, when do you guys launch? Your stuff is so cool, and I'm like, wow, like I've like that's I've never experienced that before. Dude, so where did those people come from? Um, a lot of it was okay. So we're also running a light campaign. So. We, we're running a light campaign with the with the post that's like send the messenger at the pin to the top of the page so that if people like the page they see it um so a lot of the time they're liking this little light campaign which is just like a little video of my buddy it's a time lapse of him doing a design and we invite them to like the page and most of the time they just kind of scroll through a little bit and like i and like i said one or two people have dm'd us and said like they're super excited to see what we come up with um we we part of what we're doing is we're introducing we want to tie the brand to our personalities because we're both kind of like doofuses. So like we figured that uh, <laughs> we figured out like make people laugh and like really put people in a, like the goal is to more or less. No, I got you like Jim yeah. Carrey, like Dumb and Dumber, like. Yeah. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way, in a good way. Charles, like, I'm not coming back on this I, one. <laughs> I love no, 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 I, I agree. Jim Carrey's the man. I love that guy. Yeah, the, the more or less the goal is to integrate the brand. Either they like the brand because they think the designs are cool and they think it's they think it's neat, or they like the brand because we're just we're us, you know. Like that's the goal. Yeah, man. Uh, go, authentic, go. Authenticity makes a big difference, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna pretend to be like these multimillionaires. Like that's the obviously obviously you want to make some money doing this, but we're gonna be real and be like, hey, this is what we're doing because we we're passionate about this, etc. I, so I guess one one or two more recommendations. Go back to those conversations, see how they went and what came up out of those organic conversations that you had with people. See if that sparks anything for the bot. And then I would also say, because you guys are so closely tied to this, um, I would make it very easy for people to escalate to a live chat. And I think you're going to also get more insights out of that if you just start literally messaging them and being attentive to that stuff. So I would make it very easy, maybe cut the flows down to start and just talk to people. And then that might spark more stuff. And then you can automate more and more. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Steven, anything? Um, no, I think I've said most of the things that came to mind. John, did you have any last questions? Um, no, but I, I, I do look forward to hopefully hopping back on maybe in like a couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll launch a bit and try some things and test a bit, and then and then I think we maybe we'll do another one of these, and maybe we could do another like, hey, invite the guests back on, kind of thing. <laughs> we'll That'd be we'll, awesome. Yeah, we'll see if Maricela awesome. will let us. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, John. Appreciate it, man. Let me. So, so Nick, I saw. I well, you were we were talking there. I went through. Did you? Who is? Did you have someone in mind? I saw Yusuf post. Uh, yeah, I had responded, but uh, I don't believe. Who did I send it to? Well, Yusuf posted. Let's see his... if Yusuf can get on here then. Yeah, me... he posted his bot, so I have it ready if we wanted to go through it. Yeah, why don't why don't we go through it? I'm gonna see if I can get Yusuf on with us uh, while okay. we talk about it. So. Okay, cool. Yusuf. Okay. Yvonne, Yvonne, can you clarify when you said they lost me? Um, or what was confusing, Richard? Uh, let us know if you could uh, clarify that. Um, I am excited. Yusuf, what Yusuf made is a solar company bot. Um, cool. So that's a cool market for bots because they do a ton of lead gen. 
Yusuf, I just messaged you. It may be in your uh, kind of like, what is it? Message requests. So if you could click that and come on, that'd be awesome while we go through your bot. Oh, um, uh, Victoria, I love this comment um, uh, that you ask your clients what three words they would use to describe the personality of their chatbot. Um, I don't do that currently, and I'm going to start. I really, really like that. Oh, I like it. Yeah, because I think I have something in like an onboarding doc that like to capture brand voice and like personality, but I like the three words. It sums it up really well. Mm hmm. Because usually I just usually I just like come up with something, you know, like I'll have a conversation discovery call and I'll ask tons of questions and all that. But then I'll use that information to like, hey, what kind of personality would be a great fit for this? Um, I, but I like the idea of like getting a bit I, I, maybe I feel a little resistance that they've that, I, you know, what I've heard before. Some people have said like that they don't. Um, that they don't really know, like, what is a bot's personality supposed to be like? Well, so I, I think I don't phrase it like for like, what's your bot's personality should be. But like, if you had to describe your brand in a sentence, like the personality of your brand or mm. in a sentence, what would it be? That's a good, that's a good twist to that. Because they know their vision for their, their whole brand, just not necessarily for the bot. Right. Usually. Okay, so I do have this bot up. I didn't have a get started message, but it had a main me menu down by the keyboard. Okay, well, uh, let's, did let's Yusuf, pull it. Did, did Yusuf reply or? No, he hasn't actually seen the message yet, it looks like. Okay. Yusuf, are you still there, man? Let's see if he's on. No, he's actually not watching at the moment, so. Okay, all right. Well, he can catch the replay. Um, all right, let's go through this. Share screen. Okay. So, Sunny Wiz, energy company bot. Steven, let's get started. We want to find you the best. So, just to, to let you know before I jumped on, basically, I went to get started, but nothing triggered. And then I just saw this and it said, get a free quote. Um, so, mm -hmm. it opened up this here. So, first off, are you the homeowner? Um, right away, I mean, I think I'm just thinking like what you said about um, getting them to the point quickly, which I, this does. Um, but there's, I, I just think that anyway, every time you start off one of these, you should have an image of some kind, you know, to like put help yeah. prime them and put them in a mindset of some kind, you know? Yeah, I think that's one thing that like you do well. And uh, oh, Yusuf is actually, how do I get into the chat? Yusuf, uh, I, I messaged you on Facebook. Uh, I don't want to put the link for everybody right now. Um, let me see if I can. No, I can't message you privately. You're you're gonna have to look at your your messages in your Facebook Messenger. I sent you a link so you can join the Zoom call. Uh, yeah, be, man. It might be in like private messages in Messenger. Um, sorry, what were you gonna say, Nick? No, so I was just gonna say I agree with you. There needs to like. Images for me are very much part of the copy and feel of the bot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think sometimes, like if if I feel like when you get good at it, the images or gifts help you use less copy. Like it actually, yeah. Like it's actually a part of the story. Right. Um, it's like the it's worth a thousand words, so you don't have to say it. Exactly. Like you don't have to say, oh, I'm so excited if you got Jonah Hill going, ah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's a communicative tool, um, you know, and so there's a clear absence of like color or energy here. Right. Um, perfect. It always helps to have a roof to put those amazing panels on. <laughs> Next up, I want to calculate how much you can save every year. What are your average monthly energy costs? Um, so, yeah, I mean. Like this is a league, quali league qualifying bot in a sense. Um, and I know these questions because I've looked at solar bots before um, and I get the relevance of them. I'm wondering if the quote comes right away because that would be super impressive uh, because I know there are like a number of factors um, in sending a solar quote. Um, but like the, all every question here is an opportunity to, to beta cut to like, I don't want to use the word bait, but to incite 
a, an emotional response from the user. So, so if you're saying next up, I want to calculate how much energy you can save, what are your average monthly energy costs? Like, let's weigh that. Let's emotionally anchor this. You know what I mean? Like, let's let, like people hate paying that bill every month. Like, like get into that space with them, you know, like whether it's using gifts or just different copy. Um, oh, I think he's on. Oh, um, perfect. Oh, uh, yep. Whether it's gifts or certain copy, like, like bait them and, and and have that come up with them. Like even if sometimes, and I don't know about this context, but sometimes you could even be like, um, how, oh, that like after, after you say you get the number even, oh, that's a lot. Like you pay that much a month, like you have a gift laughing at the person, you know, like, like you could do, I mean, maybe not that, but you know what I mean? Like something where it kind of like anchors how heavy a burden that is to pay. Yeah, I, 100%. So, I mean, I guess there are different motivations for why people want to get into solar. Certainly one of them has to be, I hate fucking paying my electric bill, like a hundred and some odd bucks a month when I feel like there's a better option, it's cleaner, that's whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you don't explore any of that. Yeah, I think a yeah, lot of us... Oh, sometimes you can actually get paid too to like have a solar system and like send the energy back to the grid. So it, it can yep. actually turn it around as well. Cool. So I'm going to mute this. I'm going to unmute you here. Oh, you're, you're up. So, Hey, thanks for jumping on, man. Hey, thank you. Cause I was actually just leaving a Starbucks and then I, I, uh, I saw the message. So I quickly ran back in. Uh, <laughs> hear that. It's cool. Thanks for, thanks for checking out the bot. I, this was actually the first bot I ever built. So, I, it was for like a test project I wanted to start and uh, I tried doing some traffic to it, um, but it's still super new. So thanks for uh, checking this out. Well, everyone's about to find out where I live. Your address. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. And uh, everybody's about to email you. <laughs> yeah. So this actually, I, I heard the, the note you guys just said about if you get the emails right away. So I think they get it within a couple hours, actually. Uh, it's not like instantly, um, but it definitely, um, you can, they, they, they get up to like three different quotes within like a couple hours or something like that. So still oh, okay. like learning about that whole. Um, so, so that, yeah. so basically this information would go to a solar company and then they'd send the quote back. How? Uh, it actually, yeah, it actually gets uh, sent over to like a marketplace and yeah, um, yeah it gets sent over to like a marketplace where they sell the leads and then we're just kind of like, um, like okay. we sell it pretty much to like a, a middleman and then they give us a percentage of the purchase of the lead. So okay. that I try this out. Yeah. As a, yeah. Oh, that's, that's I, I like the model. I mean, I've definitely heard a couple of people um, in the Bot Academy group doing that type of thing and making some pretty great commissions. Um, so if they could do that at scale with a lot of traffic, um, you know, solar's on yeah. the solar. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely. So Yusuf, uh, you, it sounded like you'd run a little bit of traffic to this. Um, not like, not like too much, just invite, no paid traffic yet, but I'm just like trying to get it a little bit viral, sending it to like everybody in my group and on like Facebook or something, just to see, like, just to get some, an idea of a free, uh, of some free traffic and get some feedback from some people. Um, so like family and friends. And stuff, yeah. Uh, okay. Ha has anybody actually taken you up on the solar offer? No, not yet. Like it hasn't been that like we haven't put any like actual like money behind it and try to really send. Uh... So I guess the other question is the people that you've sent this to, are they, actual prospects for solar like, yeah, so they're like some, some of them are like homeowners and stuff like that um but yeah i mainly just wanted to forward this to you guys to get get a some i guess like quality feedback from you know guys like yourselves yeah so the what i was getting at is the best feedback ever is really from from you know your market of people your pocket of people that you're targeting uh we can definitely give you some feedback about what we think um I think Stephen, you have more experience with solar than I do. Um, cool. Well, I mean, like, like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I get where you're coming from here, Yusuf. Um, I, I think that overall, just we just kind of clicked through this whole thing. This seems like very robotic, right? Like very mechanical. 
Um, like there's a, there's a few moments of some personality coming through, but there's, uh, there's only like one image at the end. Right. Um, yeah. and I do like that you're kind of encouraging them to share after having gone through this. Um, mm -hmm. but this, this, like this whole chunk of copy here should be broken up more. Um, okay. and I think, uh, I would maybe even delay this, this ask for a share. Um, okay. and maybe tell them like. Keep it on your inbox. Right. So we're putting together a few quotes. Okay. So, yeah, my, my initial reaction to this, too, is it's fine to ask people to share, but why would they share? Mm -hmm. Right? So I mean, you haven't given them a good... Go ahead. So giving them, like, some value points of why it's important or something like that? Well, like, I would share this. Essentially, like, you've built this around. You can save money going to solar is, mm -hmm. I think, the value prop I get out of this. But you don't know how much money. So if if a solar company was like, hey, you know, you're going to save 3000 bucks a year, or I would share this with somebody else who needs to, you'd probably get a better chance. If you were also to say like, "Hey, share this in, we'll give you something else," you'll also there's got to be a reason why. Mm, yeah, I like that yeah. idea of like sharing it as part of a additional contest or something as well. Yeah, that's what I, we were even thinking about, like doing like uh like share this and we'll send you a free something and then we'll do like a little free plus shipping thing. Like I don't know something related to solar, maybe like a solar phone case or something. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's like an idea. A, a bonus. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, I would love to see a solar bot send the quote through this, but it's the, oh, the, be, like, the, the lead system is so complicated. Well, not it complicated, is. but just, just like, oh, to, it's just a lot to like get a quote to go back. Um, but that would be pretty cool yeah. to be able to see that. I mean, I mean, I guess you could probably do some sort of estimate, but like, it, there's just so many factors when it comes to these types of quotes. Um, yeah, exactly. That's why it actually, the company, like, there's a little, um, on our website that we set up or the landing page it's like you know um you know you're going to be contacted by like two to three um people with various amount of quotes so they can get the best quote uh, but i know you mean if you can do it right through the broth like that would be huge uh, but unfortunately after like that information is submitted it, it's no longer ours it goes to that marketplace but that would be that would be really cool if you took it like next level so I, I would be tempted to even tell people something like that up front. Like, yeah. hey, we're going to get you the best quote. Like, that's a value prop in and of itself. Yes. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, I love that idea. Like, like you'd basically be able to, like, act as, like, the kayak. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. kayak, how to search. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so like, like you can almost like design it as if, hey, we're like the, like, you can be almost like the kayak for solar and like, we're searching, you know, you can even say like, okay, great. Thank you for the information. We're currently searching our database for the best quotes, you know, delay. Um, okay, great. You know, the right people got your information and we'll be following up with you, you know, like you can almost play that angle a little bit. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. I love that. Good one, Nick. Um, yeah, and like I would probably put a little bit more of that up front, right? Or like, yep. or like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling like an absence of education, you know? Like, like I wonder if you do. I'm just playing with the riffing here. I'm wondering if you get location first, or like near to the top, and then you almost use that to comment on like the area. Yeah, oh, that'd be cool. I don't know if you uh, can do that though. Well, well, I'm not sure either. But one thing that we wanted to do the location at the end, because like that's kind of a tricky thing. Like, hey, like, hey, we're uh, you know, like, just send us your location. <laughs> like, we wish it. Would oh be yeah, you'd have to give it context. Of course. No, yeah. no, I, I know. I mean, I just feel like what we thought, or what I thought at least, it was, uh, it would be a big ass right away. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to warm it up like hey like you know you know what's your monthly like your average monthly bill mm -hmm. um you know just these soft questions yeah, first, no, that's, good. that's true yeah I, I get what you mean with the person like personalize it so it's super personalized that would be that'd be cool i'm gonna yeah really i think i think that. like how we like to do, I, like i think it's so great to just riff on these things you know like put ideas out and just see what sticks you know um, yeah so yeah that, that that logic definitely makes sense and uh yeah, like so. How what would be a way to connect with someone a little bit more at the beginning? 
What do you think? I guess the seven, uh, Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, you no. said you go. Go ahead. I was going to say maybe just start like maybe give them a little menu on on uh, like a few uh, quick replies, um, and like just so they can they can kind of guide themselves, um, so that they, it can kind of justify their roadblocks or in their head, maybe something like that. I'm wondering, um, because like for this, it's probably two different kinds of people, right? Like it's people who already know about solar and they really want to um take action and get a quote and then there's people who will want to just learn you know mm -hmm. yeah that's true oh yeah sorry i thought it seemed like nick was wanted to jump in no i, I, I yeah i think i think you're right i mean it's it, i think it goes back to what we were talking about before even with the other bots right what type of prospect is this mm -hmm. uh i forget who it is i think it's like derek halperin or one of the other marketers that talks about I forget what he calls it, but basically like, like a purchase line, right? You're going to have some people that are like at the bottom of your funnel ready to purchase. The further the way they are from that, the more education and, and the more warming up they need. So, yeah, I mean, I think one thing you're going to want to let people purchase that want to purchase. So I think, sure, the quote is a great way to do it, but you're, as you build this bot out, you want to account for the other stages of the customer journey. Um, for sure. Definitely. I then, definitely need to structure it more before uh, really trying to get it out there. Yeah. And so Gary actually commented here. He said, so for your, your question about how much do you spend each month? So answer 500 bucks. You could make that, that you could make a payment on a brand new Tesla for that amount. <laughs> so like just, I guess, yeah, like that's a great one. Like you, where you you're actually anchoring like the impact. Yes. Right. Um, I, I love that, Gary. Is that Gary Wilkin? Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's a good one. Like I, I think that you have opportunities to do that in, in, in with solar in different ways, like saving money, earning money, planet, environment, like educate them on like, you know, not only so bait them in the in, in terms of the impact the bill has on their life, but also bait them in the impact they could have on humanity or the earth as well. Yeah. You know, like I think it's like you just saved three puppies today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah. Them funny as a humor. Yeah, no, definitely uh Oh, that's so good. Pretty good but... <laughs> yeah, like gifts about like like you could have gifts and images of like all these different like landscapes, you know, like like a dump. You know, you're saving the world from being a dump, or in the other way, like you could have some beautiful Amazonian, you know, rainforest and be like, Oh, thank you. The the birds are chirping your name at the moment, you know, like Yeah, because I feel like what you're doing right now in the um this quote you're you're including unnecessary lines that really don't add any value like after every answer you just say like awesome spectacular i mean you know all this of this sun, when it, suntacular actually oh well you know all right i get it <laughs> <laughs> but perfect i can see the savings already like it doesn't add any value to me and it's not moving the prospect toward a, the goal really and it's also yeah. not connecting like and making the bot feel personable. So I, okay. I don't think you either need to like add a little more personality that, that, that accomplishes something or take that out. And I would also add some more images into this, like we were talking about with the other bot, make it break up the copy and stop making it feel so text heavy. Yep. Yep. So make it more like, I guess, guys, uh, pretty it up a bit kind of. Yeah, I mean, I see what you were going for, like, in t with these lines in a, in a different way, though, because it, it's supposed to be a conversation. Um, yeah. Um, so I, I get your mindset, and I understand what Nick's saying about, like, either committing to, like, a personality or just making it a form. Um, that yeah. seems like Nick's point. Um, yeah, I yeah, I think that's it. I, I think that's where I go with these things. Like, what what about bots makes it better? Well, you're answering things one at a time. Like, there's a flow to it. Generally, they have a higher completion rate than forms, even if you don't have a personality to it. It's just a better user experience in general. Yep. So you can stick with that and just make it a form, but in a bot. But then just do it. Get somebody through it. Or really like try to, to make it shine a little more and do some anchoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's easy to lean toward the real experience piece. One thing I'll add as well, I don't know if we have... Did we plan another one, or is that was this the last uh, one? I'm not sure. Think, Marcel, you want to remind us? Call it after after this. Um, one thing also that is uh, that has come up for me is that um, people will go through this even after you've made it kind of you know just amplified it a bit. Um, people will go through this and still not finish. And I would in the back end set up a system where you can follow up with them. Uh, and then, and then basically de use conditional logic so that depending on which answer they left off at, that's the one they start at when you remind them. So if they, you know, click yes, they click hundred, whatever, a little shade, and then they stop and they're like, oh, home address, I don't know. Um, you know, you can you can send them a follow up that I don't know maybe deals with the assumed objection or just is a touch point in a follow-up the next day or a couple days later that then once they click the button on the follow-up it just asks the you know hey we use your location because of you know the sun and we and maybe add some context on why you're asking that question um that could actually go in here as well one oh, yeah, last, that's a great, great tactic one last thought what what information do you actually need do you really need their home address or do you need zip yeah. code what do you need yeah, so I, I need I need actually all of that stuff. Um, it's actually required. Um, so call like a monthly bill, um, first name, uh, email, uh, but the zip code and the address are crucial. Um, so you have email, to have the exact address. You can't just do zip code. Exactly. So the biggest like the hardest thing I think is going to be to make it like super successful is to actually get their exact address. Um, and I was just kind of testing it out with that share location idea. Um, but because it goes through like a, a lead ID software, so it actually needs like, it actually will search up like once they click submit and it gets, gets sent to this marketplace, goes through this piece of, I guess, like a script and, uh, it scans this database with their name. And if the name doesn't match to a location that this name is under, um, with an address that all this stuff kind of correlates so it's a bit confusing um so it's going to be a process but, but yeah so, that, that'll, okay one, one thing to think about also not everybody's going to be doing this while they're at home uh for sure no no 100 percent. yeah so, uh, are you probably, at home now no yeah. you have to like ask that because <laughs> otherwise they could be at the bar or something and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what I did before when I had that situation come up is in the message above share location, right? You just intro it. You say, hey, if you're at home below, like just click send location. And then I give them a, so a text with a button that also said, I'm not at home. So then they mm -hmm. can manually enter their address in the next block, like with a user input. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I got to add that as like a secondary step because no, it's definitely it could be likely that someone's not at home. I mean, most likely people are only at home on the weekend. But yeah, that makes sense. That's a good one. Right on. Cool. Well, I think Anything that, else? you know, we, uh, you sh uh, someone actually asked, I don't know, we probably don't have time today, but someone uh, gave good feedback for us that at the end of our teardowns that we show an example of where a bot is doing it right. Um, so what maybe we can prepare one of something like that for next time. I definitely have some ideas, but they're just not ready. Hmm. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I, so Frank, we may have to pick a different bot. You, you guys are doing stuff, right? It's not that, but it, it's just these, both of these bots are a little premature, right? They're in the early development stages. So we don't know really what's working well. Oh, no, I think bot. like like a different bot, like a, in a different context, like I'm thinking like we could show one of the ones we've made that our client doesn't mind or like just something we've seen that we really like. Um, yeah. OK, that that's fair. So I like that because the problem with like all of our banter about this is that it's just that like until everybody goes and like tests it out, we could be completely wrong about this. So I hate to be like you should go do this and then it's some stuff that you just have to test yeah that is king for sure all right that is king awesome well cool. thanks so much yusuf that's great start man and uh, looking forward to maybe seeing round two uh with some of this feedback applied and hearing thanks about so like hearing about any results that come through it as well i'd love to know if you want to uh hit me up on Facebook. thanks yeah i actually just sent you guys a request perfect
Awesome. Thanks, guys. guys. Thanks for uh, the feedback. Yeah, thanks, man. No problem. Pretty strange. Awesome. Okay, All right. cool. Well, I think, does that culminate that our, our yeah. Facebook? Community? Awesome. Well, that, those are some good bots to check out. And, uh, you know, I thought the Gold Coast one was an interesting one. I love that, you know, I loved a lot of what they're doing. But yeah, like definitely some areas where they could monetize it further. And uh, looking forward to round two of this. I think this was uh, this was fun. I hope so. Let us know, guys, if you stuck around this long. So hopefully mm -hmm. uh, see you next time.